Well, here's something a little different. We're gonna run through this twice. I'm gonna run through. I'm gonna run the vi the video, the song through. It was written by Wolfgang Gurry for Darla Routier about ten years ago. He was a strong supporter of her. Haven't heard from him for about ten years. <laughs> But I thought I'd put this on here because it's just interesting. There's music for every occasion. You've been everybody stolen. Your two little lift in a fine house. You really love your babies. To fight against your own night The beginning of my sadness The boys are dead And you are still alive and Then they took your smile Please call me Wait a little while We hope to see you Leave the mountain view Like policemen, maybe they did the best they can. Your destiny is there, and your second nightmare now began. You have lost your little babies, no one knows this endless pain. Because it just took your freedom, poor darling. You asked to fight again, then they took your smile. Wait a little while, we hope to see you leave the mountain. 
Now, I'm going to run it back again with the lyrics. He's German, and he's a little bit hard to understand. He was in the groups for a little while, but not very long. Not very long. So I'm going to run this with the lyrics now. You've been everybody stolen. You're too little lived in a fine house. You really loved your babies. And you're a husband too, of course. And came an idle man then. You had to fight against your own night. Sadness, the boys are dead, and you are still alive. And then they took your smile. Please call me, wait a little while. We hope to see you, leave the mountain view. Now the rookie like. They did the best they can Your destiny there And your second nightmare Now began You have lost your little babies No one knows This endless pain Because the justice took your freedom Poor darling You had to fight again Then they took your smile Peace darling See you. Leave the mountain view. Safer. I'm Brian St. John. I'm Ed Bradley. I'm Steve Croft. I'm Leslie Stahl. Those stories and Andy Rooney tonight on 60 Minutes.
So what do y'all think about that? <laughs> you notice where he said, justice took your freedom. Do these Darley supporters not realize when they fruity and slip? This gentleman was in the group for a short amount of time. And not very long, three or four months, and we never heard from him again, ever. Because he did, he really didn't know the case. This is another one that was probably a guy that was infatuated with her. We had another guy that was infatuated with her, and I kind of proved that too, but we're not going to go into that. So Darley does have support. If you notice on the Lisa show, if you watch her, listen to her closely, Lisa said two or three different times that the family was the only support they had. This is 1998. Now they've gathered up quite, she has quite a bit of support, but it's a lot of people that really aren't digging into and looking at the case as much as they should. Because if you study the case, Darley, 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 Darley's case and the Jeffrey McDonald case are quite a lot alike. It's different. It seems like Darley's got, she's a little more convincing. A little bit ballsy. And even so, even so that she has done this. Is there any bit of sorrow for her whatsoever? What's going on in her mind that would make her want to do something like that? Anybody? Is there any sorrow in that? Because there has to be something going on with anyone who can hurt a child. Is it evil? Is it just misplaced diagnosis? Is it untreated mental issues that are going on in someone's life. Darley always seems to have that flat effect and, and lots of different people in lots of different areas have said a lot of things about her having a flat effect. She just says I didn't kill my children. It's the merc that walks away here. very controversial case that's for sure